driving, driving, but I'm not doing the driving. Anita's doing the driving. <laughs> Hi, Hi, Anita. Hi. <laughs> nice to see you again. It's good to see you. Thank you for having me. Well, it's wonderful to meet someone else here. I was here like 30 years ago and it's changed a lot. That's what I was going to ask you. And right now we are out on a search for the perfect place to see the total eclipse tomorrow, right? Right. Yes. And you just came in from? From Kansas City. Kansas City. Wow. So, Anita, where are we going to check out right now? We are going to look at uh, Lake Dardanelle State Park. All right. Okay. And what were you doing here 30 years ago? Uh, my uh, brother-in-law and his wife were out here. Uh, he worked at Arkansas One, which is a nuclear power plant at London, Arkansas, and they lived over in Russellville. Oh, wow, so cool. So here we are, Anita, from BLM land in Arizona where I interviewed you, and people are loving that, and go back and watch it if you haven't seen Anita. And now we are here today in Russellville because I invited myself to come visit with you and experience the total solar eclipse together. It's always better with than by yourself. Yes, that's true. Yeah. So thanks, Anita. All right, guys. Stay tuned and hope you'll join us. Lake Darnell, we're going to go check it out. Here's serene and simple life. Anita! Hi, Linda! Are you enjoying a serene and simple life? I am. I'm cooking dinner. Oh my gosh. You're cooking dinner for two? Yes. Boy, aren't I the blessed that's one. A, that's a treat to get to cook for two. Well, it's thank you, Anita. It's a treat for me, for someone to be cooking for me. Oh my gosh. What do we got going on here? We are having a five star dinner of uh, salmon. Yep. Wild caught Alaskan salmon. And we've got beef for an appetizer, and then we're gonna have turnip greens. We're gonna have it on a bed of turnip greens. I'm telling you, we are styling. Yes, I brought beets and turnip greens to the party, but you bought and brought to the main dish. This is fantastic, Anita. What kind of spice? This is called citrus grill. Citrus grill, okay. It, it's got, um, I guess, everything you put on fish or uh, nice. So there's some lemon taste in there, and yeah, some lemon and dill, maybe. Yeah, some dill. Uh, and I think it it has a couple other spices too. Okay, fun. I like your little setup here. What do you got? You got all kinds of seasonings here. We got spike, paprika, coconut lime. You are styling it here, girl. And then this Avocado. is okay. And this is the olive oil. And olive. Nice. And well, then. It just this in a little cheap caddy. Okay, I like it, Anita. And I especially like being here with you. You know, earlier, uh, I, you know, this is a rest area, and you were like, this is just like a park. <laughs> and I was like, you know what, girl, you're speaking to the choir here. <laughs> it is like a park, and it's a beautiful evening. And we do have our place scouted out for tomorrow, but it's a big secret till tomorrow. So everyone's gonna have to keep watching, right? Right. Right. Thanks, Anita. Yum. Well, we're heading out. Heading out for the big day. You ready for the big day, Anita? Yep, we were at Pilots here. And we are going to get a parking spot. 6 a.m. Hear the birds. We have been winding our way in here for like a mile and there's probably been 10 people who are telling us where to park. What a magnificent... Oh my gosh, guys, yes. We are at Darnell Park. They're allowing 200 people, 200 cars in here, and then that'll be it. And they said it probably will fill up by 
8 a.m. This guy is bringing us in here. Wow. And they were like, there was a person here that was like two on the pavement and two off. Are we talking organized or what? This is amazing. I would guess, I don't know, maybe 50 cars here so far. I'm not sure. Good morning, Anita. I'll have you count them later. <laughs> We've got the nuclear plant, the cooling over there. Anita just told me and gave me a little, little information on that. So we've got about seven and a half, a little bit longer, seven and a half hours till the big event. I don't think I'll be filming that, but we'll be talking to you a little before and a little bit after. I'm sure there'll be plenty of videos showing the whole shebang. <laughs> Just counted 38 cars here and it is 638 and the time of the eclipse is two no it's 150.06 and a beautiful sky can we say woohoo they're waiting for more to come in. They're tapping it, cutting it at 200 vehicles. I guess it's been about an hour now. And people just out walking their dogs. Setting up their tripods and their cameras. Getting ready for the four minute events. Some looking a little more serious than others. People have staked their space. What a serene and simple time of day. <laughs> I don't know why I don't do this more often. I've seen license plates, Minnesota, California, Kansas, Louisiana, Nevada, Arizona. It just goes on and on. I wonder, Colorado, I wonder if all 50 states are here. Good morning. Even out fishing. Well, I call this living life large. So thankful and grateful to be able to be here. People put their hammocks up. And we got ducks out on the water. Looks like people ready to play games here. You're a beauty. Ed 
Georgia, Texas, Missouri. Oh my gosh. Did I say Illinois, Oklahoma, Washington? <laughs> As I keep walking, Iowa. And more seriousness going on here. South Dakota, New Mexico, Montana. They're doing it right up there. It's probably, I don't know, maybe 55 degrees right now. just talked to the park interpreter. She's not sure she's allowed to be on camera, but she feels like there's about 80 to 100 vehicles here right now. It's like 7.45 and uh, they have room for about two, 250. She said it's been trickling in really nice. So they've been able to park people a little bit better than, than just a mad rush. Love that driftwood in there. Beautiful. Arkansas is doing it right here at the state park. Super organized. Hey guys, wish you were here. Oh my gosh. I got a little spot here in the sun. Anita went on a walk. I went on a walk earlier. And right now, I'm gonna have some breakfast and enjoy the view. Let me show you. There's the view. There's the view. Only about four hours and 42 minutes, but who's counting? I made up some oatmeal with walnuts and raisins. Second cup of coffee going on here. And yes, indeed, we are living in the moment. There are many people around here living life large and living life in the moment. It's about 9 a.m. Okay, countdown, countdown to solar. I guess it's about, I don't know, four and a half hours now. They looped us all the way around. This is like the beginning area where the visitor center is. And uh, I don't know if it's going to get much more crowded than this. This is, this is amazing. This is beautiful. We'll see. Check it out, Anita. Wow. That telescope. Yeah. We are seeing some pretty serious stuff going on here today. Wow. I think we should keep walking and see what else we can see. Guys, not to disappoint, but there has been so much to go see do here to show you what's going on for this solar eclipse. And I was running it by Anita. If I would just put this into two videos instead of one. And I felt like I owed you the ending here. 
but Anita had some words of wisdom and I think we're gonna go with it. What did you say, Anita? I said, I, I think you ought to split it into two because people need to learn patience. Patience, okay. You know, I sometimes need to learn that myself and that just brings them back for more of serene and simple life, right? All right, Anita. So with that, to be continued, we have like, what, four hours to go and we will show you, I don't, won't show you the solar, but I will show you or give you some thoughts on what we saw and maybe as it gets to be really close and exciting. Thanks, Anita. Blessings in your day and joy in your, your journey. journey. All right.